us. These women, they love us. They push us and pull us. Just me and my team taking shots without bullets. Getting this money, you know we don't bullshit. People, they love it. They know the name. I got a little change, but I'm still the same. So break it down. Break it down. This shit I'm rocking. They don't hey, guys. What is up? It is your favorite commentator, Randall Said here. And today's commentary will be yet another episode of Storytime with Renocide. Um, this episode is going to be a little bit different from last one. This time it's not a spooky theme. It's more of a dark humor, I would say. Um, I don't really... Well, I find humor in this because it happened to me and I remember it. And looking back on it, I can laugh at it. But it, at the time, it really wasn't humorous at all. So, let me get right into the story. Um, this was about... I was about five years old at the time. And... I lived with my grandma and my aunt also my aunt is only about 22 at the moment right now so back then whenever I was five that was 10 years ago so yeah she was 12 <laughs> wow that's crazy so she was about 12 years old I was about five years old I remember okay so this is what was going through my little head I still remember this like so vividly um I remember me Watching TV, you know, um, jumping on the bed, doing what little kids do. I remember myself jumping on the bed and then a Chucky commercial coming on the TV. And something, I swear to you, something empowered me to be a bad kid. So, um, I remember just jumping on the bed and then I just got this sudden urge to do something really bad. Ooh, um, yeah, I don't know what just got into me. It was like something possessed me and they told me, you have to do this. So, I remember... Um, jumping on the bed, and my aunt was laying on the floor, face down to the hard wood, to the hardwood, and I remember my five-year-old self jumping off the bed, which was about three feet off the floor, and sitting on her head, and her head, and her nose just crashing into the ground, and, um, <laughs> yeah, so her nose just crashed into the ground, I remember her just like screaming and just crying and blood everywhere on the floor because I had just broken her nose uh, her nose was broken and it was bleeding everywhere it was gushing blood and it was really really crazy so my five-year-old self started crying as well um, I remember myself running upstairs and locking myself into the bedroom well not into the bedroom but into the bathroom I locked myself upstairs in the bathroom it was, uh, and nobody went to go get me because, I don't know, I don't think everybody was focused on my aunt being uh, bleeding out and uh, just crying to death. I remember, this is hilarious, I love my grandma. My grandma, t I remember her telling my aunt to stop yelling because she was scaring me. Even though she was in so much pain, she told her to stop crying because I was being scared. Um, so yeah. That's basically the story I have for you guys here today. We have about two minutes left of this commentary. Um, since we have time left, I'll just go over some things. Today, actually, just today, um, it's kind of a coincidence I'm making this video because today my boy Ben, uh, Jokester PX, he got his nose broken in a baseball game. He he told us that he was stealing to second base and some some kid um, need him in the nose, and he broke his nose, and he was bleeding, so he got on sort of late today, um, it's a shame, but he won't be going to school tomorrow, so, hey, <laughs> so hopefully, Ben, you'll be seeing this video tomorrow, shout out to my boy, Ben, his channel is Legit Killer on YouTube, go check him out, give him some love, and, yeah, so, basically, that's what's been going on, tomorrow, be on the lookout, I might live stream my 3v3, um, prime tournament that I will be competing in, I don't know our third yet. Maybe Bilal will get five bucks uh, to get Prime Blue, or maybe Cameron will go in clutch, come in clutch, and be able to get on at five. Because I get home at around four forty, but I get on right away, so I'll be able to play in this tournament and get my sh uh, shot warm in twenty minutes. So yeah, um, that's basically all I have for you guys today. Um, never mind, I have something else. Um, Today's, I got a mixtape. Yeah, somebody randomly came up to me, gave me a mixtape. I listened to it. It's pretty good. So, I'm I'm asking to put his songs in the, my videos. They're really good. Uh, I, uh, they're actually, like, they're rap songs, so explicit content. I don't know if any of you guys can, like, 
aren't allowed to be listening to explicit lyrics. But I'm sorry. Um, I'm telling you right now, if he ends up letting me p put his music in my videos, um, the words will be explicit. You know, the sound the will be lowered, but you can still be able to hear the language. So, yeah, just a disclaimer. And that's basically all I have for you guys here today. And, yeah, so poor my, my aunt, poor little aunt. Uh, I love her to death. <laughs> just... Wow, I couldn't help myself. Five-year-old Brian just couldn't help himself. He had to jump on my aunt's head and just sit on her head, completely shatter her nose, and leave blood stains everywhere on that hardwood that are still there to this day. So if you guys did like this commentary, please give it a thumbs up and leave some comments if you guys want anything else. So please like, comment, favorite, and subscribe if you did enjoy. And YouTube, stay random. Bye bye.